After what happened to my family, I can understand. Thank you. Although by no means do I want to compare scars. I venture mine are hardly worth mentioning compared to yours. At the very least, I'm sure your family spent their days not trying to kill each other, as opposed to 200 years doing the opposite. What do we do now? One thing we won't do is give up. If Arthur's dead, that means someone killed him, and that person had to have a motive. Granted, that list might be infinite, so it's best we start at the top. Maybe you should find a doctor. I'm afraid modern medicine can't cure the disease of caring. Well, either that or the stim packs I've been using are defective. But I'm long past the days when I saw it as a sin. In any case, we need to find out who killed him and why. Why the glum face? I thought random murder was routine around here. Huh. I'm just as surprised as you are. I'm beginning to wonder who I am and what I've done with the real Audrey. In fact, the last time I saw one of my siblings, I almost waved hello. Fortunately, my insanity lasted only until the first bullet grazed my neck. What do you think happened to him? If I had to venture a guess, I'd say this is Margaret's work. You can tell by the lasers and dead robots. And if Margaret's really alive, perhaps she'll want to work together. My sister would know this, of course. See if you can't find another clue somewhere. Hopefully with an address and directions. I found this old photo. Ah, I know the place in the picture. A pre-war cafe for dilettantes and socialites, and a post-war nightclub for hustlers and scabs. Old enough to feel safe, but new enough to be dangerous. That's my sister for you. One step ahead, with two left feet. Well, we shouldn't keep her waiting. Let's go.